Okay, we are about to begin this amazing new movie <laughs> called Skywalker Science. Okay. Lyra, hold up the credits. And now here's the credits. Okay, this is from Lyra, and Lyra made the credits just for Star Wars. It's called Star Walker Science, starring... Orion and Lyra. Woo! Orion and Lyra. So now you put down the credits and we introduce, this is Lyra from Lyra, <laughs> and this is Orion from Orion. Sneaky. <laughs> And Lyra and Orion are about to tell the, the Luke Skywalker science story entitled... Does it have to be Luke Skywalker? It has to be Skywalker. <laughs> Skywalker. Okay. Well, what's your dad's name? Luke. Oh, there you go. <laughs> yeah, but... Nah, nah. And, oh, speaking yeah. behind the camera, we have Avi. You just have to... Uh, Avi is from where uh, Luke and... and uh, Mom, come out here. I'll, I'll control the camera for a second. You just come out. Come just, out, Mom. Get a, out. Get out real, of there. Real quick. You just... Yes, so everybody needs to know that when we talk about where uh, Lyra and Orion came from, we call it... See, hey, that's mom. It's called Hey well, Avi, my sister. or Heaven. Uh -huh. And this is Avi, who is Heaven. <laughs> so Lyra and Orion came from Heaven, Hey Avi. <laughs> there we go. There we go, oh, yes, okay, so this is, this is Lyra. No, it's not going to be behind the camera now. <laughs> oh, come okay. on, Orion. No, 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 okay, come on, Orion. Okay, we're back. Okay. All right. Okay, there now we're go. ready to start the story. Here comes the story. Are we ready for the story? Well, I just played toys this entire time. Oh, well, no, but if, please. Gently. Very good. Okay. okay, here we go. I'm to be gentle. So, you need to put it in the line, though. Yeah. <laughs> Once upon a time, <clears throat> there was a starry, starry sky in the background, like Lyra said. And there were two places in this starry sky. One was called Lyra. Wave, wave. <laughs> and, and the other was called Orion. <laughs> yes, okay. Now, it, it, this, is called the, uh, this is called the story of the, the healing of the Orion Wars. That's, where, that's, that's the theme of the, the story to the Mori for today. Yes. Now, I'm checking the script over here. Oh, yes. It says something about red hair and women from Orion. No, women from Lyra. Lyra, did, did your family have red hair? Tell us about the red hair in your family. Well, Oops. my family has... One redhead. Your family has one redhead? Uh, and okay. <laughs> and, and was your father? Yes, that was my father. And yeah. his brother, my uncle, yeah. also oh. was red, but not entirely. Yes, it, it, it is. <laughs> and really? did you ever hear this story about, uh, you know, that there, the, some yeah. of the witches had red hair and that, uh, that people, the priests were afraid of the witches? Yes. Yes. Well, this this normally how it goes. Yes, this normally how. So so it's like shh, 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 shh. Oh, Ryan. So we have a, this is the test question for Lyra. Now remember we said there'd be a test question. We, That's my tea. <laughs> no, no, it's not. Lyra, Lyra, well, the movie. Okay. Uh, no, the test question is, um, why were they afraid of the red hair witches? Why were they afraid of women? Well, let's say that if you were a mouse. If you were a mouse. And there uh, was a different kind of mouse that was different. Bigger, bitter? No. Oh, different. Different and more severe looking. Aha. Uh -huh. They were really scared because they didn't know what that possibility could be. Ah, you think that's... Because we're trying to figure out why were the priests afraid of the red-haired women. That was... I would say that is because the red-haired woman indicated difference and the difference scared them. Yes, well, that's, that's good. There's normally and, difference means chaos. Well, in this yeah. case, we think the difference with red hair has to do with iron in the blood. What, you know how iron makes uh, stones turn red? We think that when there's more iron soluble in blood, it's more likely with more mineral in the hair, and you know what that means? Ability to bend the light. So Expelliarmus! <laughs> yes, which is which is so I can actually do it. And this is an introduction to Star Wars science and Skywalker science because it's about how we bend the light. Now the next question is a test question for Orion. Wait, oh come for, on. Okay. So the problem <laughs> the, the problems in the Orion Wars had something to do with uh, uh, oh it says the problem was had to do with the Borg and the Dalek. So we need you to tell us what is a Borg and what is a Dalek. Can you tell us very briefly? Can you, or maybe uh, you could maybe you could imitate the sound for us. No, I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> he does it all. all I am seven of nine. I cannot feel alone. It is a privilege to be assimilated. <laughs> what is the problem with the boards? Well, the boards started off as well helpers, uh -huh. and. 
and slowly developed minds. Mm -hmm. And with minds came the I want all the power thing. Oh. Like Donald Trump. <laughs> like, let's maybe we need to avoid politics, but I respect that that yeah. point of view. That's very much, yes. So let me let me be clear. So they, did they start out as machines? Is that what? Yeah, they're they're always machines, and they always will be. Uh, oh, I see. And then slowly over time, they managed to to start well controlling the uh, the machi other machines, which are used for making things and but, well, stuff like that. And they they always had power over them. It's just they never used it until they had full control over everything. Ooh! And, and then they spiked. But and but tell us but tell us then about Luke Skywalker. What his father was is wasn't it his name uh, Darth Vader? Yeah, it's it, just made up stuff. Well, and what, but wasn't he when he sort of woke up one day and found out that his father was half machine? Was that part of the board problem? Probably. Yeah. Because they were like adapting to hiding inside of yes. living things. Yes. So the so the, the machines would sort of <laughs> so the relationship between machines and humans got to be part of the issue of the Orion Wars. Well, see, let me tell you now. Here, I t now it's the part where we tell you the history story. Are you ready for the history story? Mm -hmm. Now, some people say the history story is just a myth, but other people say if a, if a myth is repeated in as many times in as many places. Sort of like, you know, the Hopi and the Maori and all the indigenous people say our ancestors come from Pleiades. So eventually historians have to say, well, maybe they did, you know? So there's a story called, Lyra, Lyra? The story is called The Prism of Lyra, actually. <laughs> and a friend of ours wrote a book called Prism of Lyra. His name is Lisa Royale, friend of Ron Holt, Flower of Life. We used to stay with him out in Phoenix. It's a wonderful thing. And she tells this story of Lyra where this beautiful civilization of a lot of wonderful sensitive people, one of them was called Princess Lyra, actually. Yes, and Princess Lyra came from Lyra, but there was a problem. The Lyrans were having a problem with Orion. Yes. According to this He's keeping his oh, nose. Oh, oh, yes. I was not. <laughs> okay. no. I'm not going to do that in the bathroom, okay? <laughs> no, Excuse no, but, me, I'll be no, a few hours. What? I'm digging for gold in China. <laughs> He'll be right back. Okay, so the problem was that the Orion, uh, in the Orion Wars, the story was that the Orions and the Borg, they eventually, the machines became so powerful, they became afraid of the others. The women. Because the women were powerful, they were like, you, you, you know how they how they could tell that the women were powerful? Uh, it had to do with the nose. Do you know what they do with their nose? Yes, because of the um, the. Um... What does this do? Oh, wait, we're getting there. That's okay. called flame and wait, wait, wait. We should not wear it with the towel. Orion, please. Orion, please. No, no. But finish. What about, about the nose? What did they do with their nose? They would. Oh, I think so, yes, and you can do it pretty well, can't you? Yes. Well, you know, actually, um, this is in introducing the physics of Eskimo kisses, where you see there's this little spot on the tip of your nose. Does, does the tip of your nose ever burn sometimes? You just tinkle slightly. Well, mm -hmm. the, the, the tinkling is where it's called where pine cones kiss noses, otherwise known as an Eskimo kiss. And there's something called... You know how you have a long wave? A very short wave is called a microwave, like this. And the yeah. microwaves come out your nose, and that's how the insects navigate, and how nature communicates, this high frequency. So the ability to wiggle your nose was part of the power of the psychokinetic women. Well, anyway, in the Orion Wars, they were afraid of the women. It's an old story. And so basically what happened was... I get to like this. Well, that's, that's at the end of the story. That's where we're talking about the flame in the mind and the brain waves. You see, in the brainwaves, we actually put that on, we measure the flip, but we have to get there. Next. No! no. <laughs> well, okay. they need to please, 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 wait, wait, wait. So, so the story was that in the Orion Wars, Orion actually shot their big cannons. Yippee! And, and they blew up Lyra. Aww. Does, would that make you feel sad? Ish. The, so, <laughs> I guess I could call it one thing. Revenge. <laughs> no, easy, easy. Because see, there's a, there's a story of the story. There, there is a happily ever after. Aww. The happily ever after was that some of the very very sensitive people escaped, and they were led by a princess named Lyra. Lyra. How did you know? Somebody must have told you. Okay. So the princess Lyra escaped. Well, this story goes on and on. But see, there's another piece of the story that happened on a planet. Named after this family, there was a family from 
from the Orion group who had controlled in the Pleiades. You know how the Borg controlled? They controlled the Pleiades. Mm -hmm. And the family there, the father was Anu and the son were Anki and Enlil. But the other name for Anki, he had many names, was Aya. And so when they went to this planet a long way from downtown, Aww. they named it, what did they name the planet? They named it after Aya. That's a hint. Aya's Earth, E-A-R-T-H. So they named it after Enki, Aya's Earth. See? Well, when they got there, they named it after him. And so they, they actually escaped from the Orion Wars by coming to Earth. And Only to soon find out that people made their own versions of this, a.k.a. the Terminator movies. Well, basically. <laughs> well, I'm yes. going to kill you! <laughs> it, okay, yes. So, the beans. I haven't seen them, don't worry. You're, 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 Just seen the trailers. Okay, so... Um, Really um, oh, we were supposed to mention that Muabdib wakes up to find his father is half machine, also Harkonnen. So this is a recurrent theme. Really? Yes. But so when they arrived at Aya's Earth, they, they they began a whole lineage of civilizations that were all led by this group from the Pleiades, who had a certain kind of blood. And uh, the kind of blood uh, was based on the fact that the family in Orion had a different kind of blood. Do you know what kind of blood they had in Orion, Orion? Well, the kind of blood that... What, what kind of blood do you think dragons have? Uh... Yes? It is a magical type of blood. Well... Indicating different feelings and things. Yeah, well, good, yes. And I think there was a clue in your stones. Do you have your stones light? I'll go get They're yeah. warm-blooded! Well, it's, it's, it's a hint because we need the red one and the white one. Because you, remember you talked to Lyra? You had the... Red dragon's tooth and the white dragon's tooth? Maybe you could show them to us. Could you show us the stones here? So these are the stones that Lyra found yesterday in the gorge. The red, red tooth and the white tooth. Yeah. The red dragon. Why was it red and a white dragon? Show, show the tooth. Yeah. Okay. This tooth here uh -huh. is the blood of the red dragon. Red, red dragon. Red dragon. And this one is the white dragon. Right. And what was the function of the dragon's tooth? Well, there's different functions depending on what it's doing. Speak loudly. Well, there's different functions depending on what it's doing. But, for example, if it's hunting prey, then it will find a high peak and at just the right point fly straight down on top of the animal in running or digging or trying to find a way. But what was about the thing about the tooth and the egg? Do you remember when the when the dragon is trying? Oh, can I tell that, please? Oh, okay. Why don't you say that? It's well, your turn. When ag dragons hatch out of their egg, yeah. it's because their teeth have grown strong and sharp enough to break out. Exactly. Exactly. Egg, egg exactly. Exquisite, isn't it? It's yes. even excruciating. <laughs> so, so the, the the tooth of the red and the white dragon. Oh my God was because there was two kinds of blood among the Draco, Uru, Anunnaki, Nephilim. And the one was a red... See, they used, they used a different kind of blood based on what's called phosphorus. And there's a two chemistries of phosphorus. One is white phosphorus and red phosphorus. And the red phosphorus, red dragon blood, became Roth Shield. You know, the Order of the Red Shield. The Kenchies? No, the Rothschild. <laughs> and, oh, yes. and, and, so they, they, basically, it had a red blood and a white blood. It's kind of a long story. But the red dragon and the white dragon blood, later, when Enki Ea came to Earth, remember, they were doing something called cloning. Cloning is where you have babies without, <coughs> without bliss, and without love, without passion. And when you have babies without bliss and love and passion, you have cloning. And that's part of the problem of, of, of Skywalker science. Skywalker science starts with this problem. Because you know what Enki's other name was, besides Lucifer, which is a little scary, was Nudiewood, which means the clone. So when they came what? to Earth, they, they tried cloning the red blood and the white blood, and it was the white dragon blood, called Kakausis, or Caucasian, actually, that enabled Enki Ea to have the first fertile children, actually. But the, the problem was that by cloning, they lost what we call... Sympathy? Empathy, that's a clue. Something else. They lost love and... Uh, they lost love, yes. And uh, They developed greed. They developed greed, yes. They lost even what's really called, what we call a soul. But to understand what a soul is, you need to understand how a tornado forms in your blood called DNA. And that's implosion. 
And that's the science of Skywalker science. Pretty sure that's how you make clones. You get the DNA and you make it build itself back up. That's right, but you do it without the love and the passion and the bliss. So that's good. <laughs> and, and, and that's how you get cloning. What, instead of cloning, what you could do is with the bliss, you, then you could take the DNA from the building child inside and then you can build it up then. Well, see, that's the experiment they did. And the other, thing, the other thing about Enki was he was fascinated because when he got to A.S. Earth, he found that our blood was based on iron. Yes. And they call that iron Adom, which is Hebrew for red, which became the word Adamic or Adam, the Adamic race, Adam and Eve, you get it. And his whole fascination was the iron in the blood because we had switched the chlorophyll green atom the center out, out of that used iron and made heme, as in hemoglobin. It's all the same geometry. So the iron-blooded ones had a different possibility for passion, which we are going to call a vaccine for the Orion Wars. Okay. Um, but what a vaccine, vaccine to understand how it works to crack open an egg, now imagine this is the egg. There's a little hole where it's been cracked open. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. And why is there gold inside? Because the it's like dragons are greedy. <laughs> they like gold. Actually, that, that's well, a, that's the um because it's reflecting life force. Actually, it's yes. floating charge. That's the reason. And and actually, Ryan, you're right. That, gentle. That well, we have to be gentle with that because that's going to break. Yes. Inside. I've seen this before you do this. Oh, and there's the dragon tooth. <laughs> Thank you, dear. Exactly. So, but to finish the story, so um, the, the uh, ability to, to make passion in blood eventually developed a substitute, which was, as Ryan just said, this addiction to gold powder, yeah. which is called the spice, the Ormes, and it was served in a round white wafer, later called Holy Communion. And uh, sometimes it was served in a pine cone shape, which you can see at Rennes La Chateau, and it's actually white gold powder. And the addiction to white gold, gold powder was called the spice must flow. It was called, oh no, it was called <laughs> the spice, actually. And so harvesting the spice, harvesting this gold powder was what their addiction was about. So anyway, when they got to Earth, they realized that this iron was a clue to many things because it enabled the blood to generate passion and actually generate a solution to the Orion Wars. Broken this. I'm not sure but, how they get it under. Oh dear, please. Oh, I'll be careful with the toys. Uh, okay. So, um, we just I just want to say there's one more part of the story that my mother. It's the legend in my family was that when the escapees from uh, Lyra, I mean the escapees from Montsegur, uh, the pregnant women went north and became Kaltos, as Anne Rice described, and they were tall, red-haired, powerful Amazon women, which is my mother, who was actually, the family name was Le Claire, which means Schler, the Claire ones, and she was clairvoyant, and therefore a famous artist. You can see my mother's pictures at ThelmaWinter.com. And she was a tall, powerful, red-haired woman also, and had fire in the blood. And I think the men were afraid of her too, actually. <laughs> And so we came to a town called East of Eden, which is where I was born, and the winter of our discontents was our last name, and the grapes of wrath were across the street, and there were two brothers. One was born at a very early age, and the other was an only child. No, a brother, I'm sorry. So this is the story East of Eden, and it's part of the myth here, you see? So, so I, this, this story affects all of us, because all of us need this archetype in our life. Now, the other little part of this story that we're supposed to tell Wait, I have a question. Yes, please. So what, what is the difference between the tall redheads and the short redheads? Ah, yes. Well, one in, of them look cool, the other one's done. Actually, the issue was simply power. I mean, you see, eggs are more fractal than seeds. So naturally, biologically, women do have more power than, than men in a way. Biologically, you could say. And oh, also that um, the, the, the power of women was feared by the priests because... Uh, in the Orion Wars, it was a female-dominated culture, actually. And so when, when, they, when they arrived here, all of the religions of Earth were formed with a primary uh, fear of women. And this was animating the origin of Christianity and Muslim. They all feared the power of women. And so when I was studying this in graduate school, I was studying anthropology origins, 
Is that why there's no female gods? <laughs> I think we have a clue there. I think we have a clue. So the idea is then to understand this power of women. And part of the myth, I, whether they were tall or short red hairs, that is, is the story told in great detail by Anne Rice about the Taltos, the tall Alsatians, which is where my mother actually comes from, mm -hmm. Alsace-Lorraine. And the Alsatian women are also very much related to the French story in Louisiana, and it becomes this, the story of the witches and how they survive the vampires. And, and a vampire is another name for a person who doesn't have bliss and therefore can't make their own blood of plasma or charge. So, meanwhile, back at the ranch, I mean back to the story. Mm -hmm. So, in order to understand where we're going with this, we need to understand what they called heaven. We just say heaven in uh, Christianity is called hey ave, the breath of charge. Hey is, is, is the Hebrew letter, which means the breath, right? And But in, in, in Hebrew, it's called the Plains of Sharon. And what, what happened in the Plains of Sharon, as Lawrence Gardner said, was that the electric field around... Can you show us the gold again, Lara? The gold, yes, yes. So the electric field made by the monoatomic gold creates a charge field that unpacks. It's called a conjugate dielectric. It just means a very large... Because the electron shells just unpack and unpack, and the charge becomes very big. And that's called the Plains of Sharon, which is the name for heaven. And it turns out that that electric field is also called a fractal field, called fractalfield.com. And you can read all about it. And it looks exactly like this, which is the only possible 3D fractal. It's a stellated dodeca, ecosa, dodeca, ecosa, dodeca, ecosa, inside, outside, inside, outside, infinitely. And it is a monster. And, <laughs> and we call it the Star Mother Kid. Exactly. Thank you. Thank you. Orion, please. Broken as I'm trying to unbreak it. Well, it's, it's, it's okay. It's all right. It doesn't matter. So, Almost 30 so, e-pancakes in front of the camera. Okay. Well, the last, pe last piece of heaven that we need to describe to describe the science of Star Wars is what's called, uh, uh, we have a lady here who is an expert on the French. It's called, the French word for heaven comes from the Greek otherwise known as, as the Champs-Élysées. As, as, the Champs means electric field in French, and Élysée comes also from the Greek illusion. The illusion fields of the perfect fractal fields, Champs-Élysées. So everybody names heaven out of this principle of perfected distribution of charge called heaven. So, and this is a fractal field. And to understand what a fractal field, of course, you need to know how that heals. And the example is a negative ion, which is a little black hole, a little fractal, etc. Et okay, ah. so you get the story. Now, the next part of this story is, uh, and we need Orion for this. Orion. Orion, oh, we're going to need you for this. Oh. Just want to do something. Okay, just uh, But I think it's quick. better that you just sit, well, breathe. It's, okay. it's, it's like I give my mouth so I can sleep. <laughs> 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 okay. uh, no, uh, uh, the part we need you for is to tell us what is a Skywalker. That's the next test. Uh, a Skywalker. It's self-explanatory. Oh, <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> What's a Skywalker? They walk in the sky. They walk in the... Now, how would you walk in the sky? If we know this electric field, you know, like if you, if you go where the Hopis go to make phone calls to ancestors and you measure the air, as Karakov did, he well, discovered the air has to be fractal. There's two types. Mm -hmm. One who really walk in the sky and actually... And the second one are the ones who use, like, jetpacks and vice versa. Well, that's, that's, see, that brings up the right question, which has to do with how you do the propulsion to walk in the sky. Now, to, uh, to understand that, we need to understand what happens when you dream and when you die. It turns out it's been measured. Do you know what's been measured? Huh. A friend of ours, Dr. Karakov, he measured what happens after people die or when they dream. And it turns out that there's an electric field called your ka, or your spirit, or your ghost. That, you know how you measure where there's a ghost? No. You, you, you take a, a, a temperature and you measure it's a little bit colder there. Do you know why it's colder where there was a ghost? Because there isn't, the body, uh, there isn't any blood, any veins, any anything in there. It's just uh... Actually, But it's just charge. It's a cloud of charge called plasma, cold plasma. And in the cloud of charge called cold plasma, which is your ghost or your spirit, it's actually shaped like, uh, it's shaped like what uh, Orion is holding. Oh, really? Yes. Will you, will you scoot over so we can My see God. it? <laughs> okay. Thank you, Lyra. Yes. See, now, it, in the, the cloud of charge that's called your cow, which is what you are after you die or when you dream, is shaped like a donut. 
And when the donut turns inside out, now turn it inside out, that's good. You're doing great. Perfect, perfect. See, so what happens is the little donut gets embedded and sucked into the bigger donut where the inside becomes the outside and implodes. And that's called fractal. And what happens then is the electric field, your ghost or your car, gets bigger. It looks you're like so, flying saucer. You're, you're, you're and now you need to tell us what that has to do with compassion. This is your job, Orion. Uh, he probably doesn't. I'm lying. <laughs> don't have me something. You, well, you, see, you do have compassion. No, I don't. Well, what is compassion again? So, you see, it turns out that there's a shape of an electric field that causes your heart to fire, which looks like this. Ooh. And, and when you turn your heart inside out, recursively, inside, like, I would turn myself inside out for you, darling. Like That's gross. Like, well, for example, if you were, if, if you were, if you were saying to Lyra that I would turn myself inside out for you. Or you've made a mess. <laughs> so what happens when your heart turns inside out recursively is it implodes and creates a bigger aura. So this is called feeling or compassion, which is what was lost in what's called the Orion Wars. Orion, did you know that? Yeah. Okay. So. But nobody has any. Okay, but now. Well, like, Mom, she took my pillow away. No, no, wait, no, no, wait, no, wait, no. Orion, <laughs> please. I'm mean. getting my pillow back. Okay. All right. So, what, there you are, you're navigating, and you've just died, or you're, you're, you're dreaming, you're lucid dreaming, and you, now we know that it's basically a charge field called cold plasma, which is shaped like a donut, and you need to steer. So how do you steer? Uh, this is a tricky question. How do you steer? Let, I've got an idea. Yeah, go ahead, yes. You connect it to the Wi-Fi thing so you can go... Ah, see, that's a problem because we discovered the Wi-Fi makes fr frequencies that prevent your heart from imploding. So we got a little difficulty here. Oh! Uh, Remember when Luke... So you can deconnect it to the Wi-Fi. No, no, no. Remember when... Now is it a wireless? No, let me explain. When Luke Skywalker went deep down, where did he go to get his Jedi flying? He went oh. deep, deep inside it. It was like a cave with nature all around. Everything was alive and there were no machines anywhere. Woohoo! Why did he do that? Why did he have to do that in order to get his Jed? Ding! Hey, first, oh, we have the other text question for Orion. This is your next test question. Okay. What is a Jed? Huh? What is a Jedi? Uh, somebody in harmony with nature. Oh, well, that's close. But in Egypt, they were very specific to what a Jed was. A jet was a certain shape of a tower that would implode capacitance charge called a jet eye tower, and it would actually affect gravity. It would create propulsion. In fact, the light... I'm fine! Well, they, see, that we're getting to the secret. Remember our question, Orion. Our question is how are we going to steer, right? So when you arrange stones with the right electrical geometry above the king's chamber in the pyramid, it actually reduced the weight of the stone so it didn't collapse because it made gravity. Oh, awesome. So, but the thing is, the tricky thing is, in order to get a scientist to help us with this question of how you create this gravity propulsion. We asked you? Well, <laughs> we're looking for a scientist who knows the answer to a simple question. And this is, this is the next question for Orion. I'm sorry, I have so many questions for you, Orion. But this is the next question. Next question, Orion, is... Oh, ask my... <laughs> no, no, it's not. The next question is, why do objects fall to the ground? Oh, because the gravity is pulling it down. Right? Uh, 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 no, no, but you see then what causes gravity? Uh, objects falling. <laughs> see, this is the problem. And so Einstein couldn't answer the question. NASA couldn't answer the question. I Stephen, can. Stephen Hawking couldn't answer the question. I can. How, why do objects fall to the ground? Because of gravity. <laughs> no, see, that's circular logic. That's answering the question by asking the question. <laughs> see, so this is the problem. So if none of these scientists can tell you why objects fall to the ground, then obviously they can't tell you how to be a skywalker, which is how to create the propulsion. So I'm going to tell you now, and this is one of the secrets right here, one of the secrets of skywalker science, which is the propulsion. I have to do it with Minecraft. You get a mod, you get a potion cannon. No, you, you, and you make the block underneath you fly. Ryan, this is life isn't in your hands. What? Well, <laughs> this is life isn't in your hands. You can't get it on your phone. You have to have like PC or computers and stuff. <laughs> okay. Oh my. Okay, so here we go. So here's propulsion. So if you take this golden mean spiral, sometimes called the yellow brick road to Oz, Woo! and if you place it on a torus, you know what a torus is? It's what the Torah is named after? Oh. It, a, a donut. And, and then you turn it inside out, just like we talked about your heart, you know? 
then if you take this spi self-organizing spiral on this seven color map Mobius strip and you cast shadows inside the tetra cube, the shadows of that spiral make Aleph, Beit, Gimel, Dalit, 